Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and yet another video with the F1 2019 mod. Today we are doing a race as Carlos Sainz in the brand new McLaren MCL 34 here at Spain for the Spanish Grand Prix. A 25% race like I mentioned and it's going to be sunny conditions start to finish and hopefully we can try and put on a good performance for Sainz in his home race in this McLaren. Which by the way in this mod looks absolutely great. It's on the William chassis from 2018 but the actual models, models have done a great job and the car looks absolutely sublime. And and um, pretty realistic, like the real thing, pretty much. I've got to say, from most angles, you would not know the difference. And um, I'm really, really happy with it. Once again, guys, though, as always, the mod will be linked down below in the description. You guys can go download it and, you know, you can use the mod yourselves if you have it from 2018 on PC and have a little bit of fun. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Do you want me to do more of these? And if so, I might start a career mode soon. So give me your thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, hopefully you do enjoy the video. If you do, then please do drop a like off the bat. Also, subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to leave you guys with some live commentary for the race. I can mention 25% race, short and sweet here at Spain. And fingers crossed it goes well. We start the race on P11 just outside the top 10. And let's see how it goes. And let's see how the McLaren performs. With that being said, I'm going to leave you with Crofty. And he's going to take you through the entire grid. So yeah, guys, enjoy the video. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Pierre Gasly, and Verstappen, Stroll, Holkenberg, Van Dorn, and Kevin Magnussen, Sainz, Ricardo, Roman Grosjean, and Perez, Alonso, Brendan Hartley, and Marcus Ericsson. Raikkonen and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right then, here we are on the grid for this 25% race as Carlos signs in the McLaren. It's his home race, it's the Spanish Grand Prix, and we start from P11 just outside the top 10, so we are going to get the free choice of tyre. Having said that, we are going to start the race on the super softs, I think, and try and be aggressive. It's nice sunny conditions, no rain expected here, and hopefully with this new McLaren, we can try and do a decent job. Now, the two options strategy-wise are super softs onto softs, or we start on the softs and transition over to the supers on the uh, second stint. Fuel-wise, we are two laps over which is pretty fine for me. I don't want to go too heavy or too light. And uh, the debate is kind of on the tyres, but I'm going to stick with the super softs and try to be aggressive in the first part of the race. So let's see how it pans out for us and hopefully we can have a decent little race. And I think the target is probably going to be around a top eight finish if all goes according to plan. But with that being said, let's just jump into it here and let's see how this race goes. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix. Right, here we go. We've got Norris in front, my own teammate. We're going to get ready for the five red lights here at the circuit de Catalunya. Lights are on. And they are off. Decent start, actually, for a change. It's quite rare that I get a good start in this game. I'm going to cover the outside. Now I can just make my way to the inside line and pick up the, that space and those positions. Magnussen there getting past Norris as we try to get past Norris as well. We do make it a little bit of contact, a little bit of argy bargy with my own teammate. But we have got past Nando Norris. So good stuff there. That's worked out beautifully. And a very good start, actually, into the top 10, getting a place. Do launch off the lights. Now we're going to see what this McLaren is like. I think, you know, top 8 is a target. I'd like to be best of the rest, if possible. That would be even better. Magnussen here going defensive slightly in the Haas. A little bit out of shape through there. Kevin Magnussen, we just have to back off, though, and uh, leave him the space. As we go up the hill towards turn 9 for the first time this race. Oh, this car is a little bit more understeery than I thought it would be. I'm used to my Season 5 Primo car, so this is a bit of a downward spiral, a bit of a downgrade, you could say. But the car does feel nice and stable. Got a decent setup on. So I think we should be able to push. And also, since the patch, obviously, tyre temperatures are no longer a massive factor. Even around here, I think we should be okay. Um, but we'll see how it pans out. But lap 1 draws to a close, and we're into the top 10. So that's a positive. Understeer there, mid corner, but. We're okay, no track extends, all looks good so far, so now let's start getting to work here. And let's see if we have the pace to try and challenge some of these guys. Right to lap 3, DRS and unable. I've definitely got some okay pace, I think we're faster than Magnussen and also Perez in the racing point. So we could definitely make some moves off the stroll, sorry, and stroll in the racing point. The Renault seems a bit too fast, whatever that Renault is, whoever it is in, the, in that banana car in front. They seem a little bit too quick, so I reckon for now the target is going to be P8, I think, in this race. Alright, DRS now enabled here. Can we do anything? We'll close the gap to Magnussen slightly. 
trying to carry the speed through turn on, but Magnussen has the RS himself. We are gaining though. So it's McLaren doing okay for straight line speed. I think we could definitely challenge Kevin Magnussen on the pit straight. So let's try and stay within close proximity. It's the final chicane running to be a little bit more mobile and a little bit quicker, which is uh, where this car seems to struggle a little bit in the slow speed. Through here, this is running to be good. Oh, it just doesn't like the bumps. A little bit far back from my liking was run a bit wide there. Getting very loose. Yeah, that's if we're going to challenge. Not into turn one, not yet. Oh, good exit out there. Magnussen again. Going extra defensive for no real reason. We are going to get really close to him this time. Going up the hill. Come on, there we go. He's going to have the RS again. Which is kind of frustrating. Very close this time around. Just still can't get the job done. Okay, Magnussen's going to challenge Stroll here actually. He's going to try and go around the outside of the Canadian. They're side by side. As we go towards turn three. Come on, let's try and close this gap. And Magnussen has done it. Fair play. Nice move there from Kevin Magnussen. And Lance Stroll loses a place. Oh, we hit the brakes there. We had to get out of it. Otherwise, that could have been a front wing loss. All right. Can we have a go at Stroll here? I know from racing the racing point last time, it's a pretty good car on a straight line. And yes, it is. That is a fast car. It's going to be harder to pass that one. Dare I say, you might really overtake Magnussen on the pit straight. All right, here we go at the final corner. I'm closer to Stroll than I ever have been to Magnussen, but he's actually pulling away. Kind of frustrating. I can't get none of the two. We are scheduled to come in this lap though, so let's see what happens. This could be a critical lap in the Grand Prix. Oh, just a bit of dirty air, but we are able to get the power down. Frustrating because I know I'm faster than these guys. But that racing point is a fast car on the straight. Right, here we go. We're going to pit in. Schedule a pit stop lap. Magnussen stays out, as does Stroll. So this is it. This is my chance. My roll of the dice. Going on the undercut. Get it all slowed down. There we go. Right. Decent pit entry. Now we need a good stop. Nice quick stop. Hopefully no hold ups as well. That'd be great. Let's have a look. Holding up Holkenberg there a little bit, which is good. Into the pit box. There we go. 2.6. No hold ups. Exactly what you want. Holkenberg's lost a little bit of time, which might just bring it back into play. Up to speed. Nice bit of clean air as well. So we can push straight away. Straight into Rich Mix here. Need a strong, strong outlap to uh, cause a problem and try and undercut Straw and Magnuson. Already these tyres feel great on the front end. Let's get to work. Right, George Russell comes in. Here we go. It's been a very good outlap, I've got to say. Felt good. Lots of cars in the pit lane. And there you go. There's a McLaren there, Renault. There's Lance Stroll. And I think Magnuson was further back. So it's worked out beautifully and we've undercut everybody which is exactly what I wanted and I thought it was nice and warm as well so can we chase after Hulkenberg? that's going to be the big one because I think we have got some good pace but obviously stuck behind traffic before we couldn't um, make anything happen but in clean air could we chase after Hulkenberg? these tyres do feel great I've got to say so you never know I fancy my chances though right post my best 1 minute 20.5 Captain Hulkenberg 2.6 stroll 2 seconds flat so not too bad. Let's see if we can start actually chip, tripping away at that 2.6 second gap. Another personal best, 20.1. We take out half a second from Holkenberg's gap there. Looking good so far. Definitely looking quick. There we go. Match a personal best. Gap now 1.6. Maybe I might be doing within DRS come the end of this lap if we keep this pace up. Not quite close enough for DRS. Just dropped off the pace a little bit that lap, but we should be on him come the end of this lap hopefully. I can see his name tag appearing as well, so we're definitely doing it. Right, this time we have the RS and Hulkenberg out the final corner. I'm a little bit far back though, I think, for an attempt. Or not, we're actually gaining quite a bit here. Look at this, look at this McLaren go. Hulkenberg goes defensive into turn one, that's going to put him on the back foot a little bit. We're not going to commit to the overtake just yet, we've still got plenty of laps left to try and pass him, but I'm impressed with the straight line speed of this Papaya car. Really, really decent stuff. This time we're closer. This is it. This is the one. At the final corner. I don't have as much ERS, so we're going to keep it in medium. But I've got enough on the straight. With just Rich Mix alone to get past Hulkenberg. There we go. Down the inside. 
Very nice move. Very easy move. And we are passed into P7 for best of the rest here in the Spanish Grand Prix on lap number 14. We've deserved that. We've been good. The car's been quick. Now it can be put away. I think Hulkenberg might come back at me here. I'm going to have to go Rich Mix. I haven't got much left. Here he goes. To the left hand side. Late on the brakes. I'm going to hold on the inside line. Side by side here with the Renault. Right on the outside of turn two. And we're going to hold it for turn three. The Hulkenberg not giving up. It seems like the slipstream is really powerful. The same way I got past him in the first place. One and a half laps to go though. Let's hold on to this if we can. Oh, Watkins out. Okay. In the Saab Alfa Romeo. Or just Alfa Romeo now. Right. Because of Watkins' retirement, Hulkenberg, I don't think he's going to be able to pass me. Either way, I'm out of rich mix. Just using Hot Lap PRS. And that is going to be enough for me to stay in front this time around. I had a little bit of battery saved up. And we survived the pit straight. Just half lap to go now, pretty much. The back straight, and that should be all she wrote. Right, here we go. Through the final couple of corners now, Leclerc wins at Spain in the Ferrari. Could it be a sign of things to come? Who knows? But either way, we've done a good job here today from P11. We've come through to finish P7 and best of the rest in the Spanish Grand Prix as Carlos Sainz. Get in there. Decent race. Really enjoy that. A nice but short and sweet and also, you know, pretty eventful 25% race. That's a fantastic performance from Ferrari. It hardly looked in doubt. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. Right, so looking at the final race results, you can see Charles Leclerc wins the Spanish Grand Prix ahead of Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. Leclerc starting from P3 on the grid, Pierre Gasly P4 in the first of the Red Bulls, and Sebastian Vettel, the big loser here today. After starting from pole position, he finishes only P5 ahead of Max Verstappen. Now, um, you can kind of see where Formula A and Formula B really are in terms of respective splits. If you look at the best lap times, the top six, all in the 1 minute 19s, and then everybody else 1 minute 20 beyond. So, uh, Pretty much the best we could do, P7 in the McLaren, best of the rest. And uh, pretty much what I asked for at the start of the race ahead of Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Perez running off the points there. And then further down the order towards the second half of the table, you do have Stroll missing out on points along with Magnussen. Norris, who got 13th in the end after starting from P9 in this race. Kvyat, Albon, Kubica, Grosjean, Russell, Giovinazzi last, and Raikkonen retiring from the Grand Prix. So, uh... Alfa Romeo having a pretty torrid race to be fair and not one that we're going to rem remember anytime soon but all in all guys that is going to be it for this race here at Spain as Carlos signs in the McLaren and if you guys did enjoy the video then please do drop a like there'll be a link to the mod down below in the description if you want to go test it out for yourselves also get subscribed for daily Formula 1 content and turn notifications to not miss a single upload from me and finally check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them but other than that guys thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video very soon but until then it's goodbye from me